Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here. Welcome to another part of Spyro 2. Today it is time to go to Crystal Glacier. Glacier. Let's watch this. This is a good cutscene actually. I like this one. Nice, nice. So the premise of this level, let's uh, unfreeze this guy. Spyro, the ice wizards have imprisoned our leader, Shaman Tuck. Can you help us rescue him? It is urgent. He has our tickets to tonight's hockey game in Colossus Valley. Ooh, very nice. Okay, so it appears the premise of this level is we need to rescue Shaman Tuck, their shaman. And here's another if speak. you get on the catapult, We'll help you across the chasm. Excellent. Um, yeah, so it seems like we need to go save Shaman Tuck. I like the um, the little reference there to uh, the you know the awesome uh, the Colossus level. Um, it kind of like it, you know symbolizes that yeah this world is is what is you know it's all in one. You know there's not just like separate little worlds that have no idea what each other you know worlds are. And I guess this world in particular, I would probably have to say, has the most. Um, I know, it to me it feels like it's the most, like, the world with the closest connections. I find, uh, if you want to watch our little discussion about that, I definitely suggest you go to Nintendo 64's channel. We had a discussion about that in one of his parts. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Like, I do like the fact that, um, this world has a lot of connections and a lot of, like, references to each other. Like, obviously you've got the whole fighting scene, um, what's the, you know, the whole fighting scene between Harakos and that. We'll help you climb this wall up ahead. Thanks, man. Okay, do that. And actually, you can double jump up to here, just to let you know. But you can't jump all the way across. I'm pretty sure it's impossible. And there's these little things there, which we might as well collect. So this level, you can see the ice is actually a different color. It's it's a pink ice. I don't know if that's intentional, or it's just like, oh, well, you know, it's just have a random color. Like, I don't know if they did it on purpose, or it was just kind of part of the level. But it definitely creates a really cool contrast in this level. It's not a... The thing about Spyro ice levels to me, they're not typical ice levels. I don't know if, about what you guys, you the viewers, think, but to me, the ice levels in Spyro are really creative and, and uh, well well done, I think. Um, now, I might as well show off one of the glitches to skip paying money bags, but I will pay money bags. You're about to see money bags in a minute. This level is also very creative in the sense of what it is, what it actually is. You know, it's a level called Crystal Glacier. Um, there's dogs and weird creatures, the ice wizards, they've taken over. Um, where were they before this? Were they imprisoned themselves? Or, I don't know, where'd they come from? Why'd they choose to, to do this, you know? you got to really analyse the uh, the protagonist and the um, antagonist in this game, of course, you know? Me and my Spyro 2 uh, depth and discussion that I, I love to do so much. <laughs> Alright, actually, don't miss those gems over there, because I would. I would. Now, these enemies there are kind of annoying, but... What I might do is I'll just show off, just for the love. I think this is what you got to do, isn't it? Wait, yep. That's how you get up. You go up here, and then you can go all the way over here, and we make it to the other side. I will pay money bags though, just because I want to. So, because I actually like what I actually like what money bags has to say. That that's pretty much why I pay money bags these days, just because I like what he says, not because like I want to pay him. If you know what I mean. Um, here's the end of the level, actually. And so yeah, they, they did a really good job with the lighting effects, I reckon, with this level. It's such a, um, a beautiful looking level, it reflects, you know, it reflects um, Autumn Plains as a whole. It is such a, you know, as I said in that part, it's a very nice looking level. Thanks, Spyro. Just hold tight for a second, and look out below! This is pretty cool. Destruction. Boom. That was that was huge. Ow. Oh, you think those guys could have got me out of here without rolling a two-ton snowball onto my head? Here, take this crystal. I traded some hockey tickets for it. Oh, <laughs> I love that. 
take this crystal, I traded some hockey tickets. So basically, that basically, 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 that says, um, oh, that, well, that is a crystal, not a norm, so I got mixed up. Um, it basically says that the whole premise of this level, you know, they want to go to Colossus, um, to, you know, Colossus Valley or whatever, that's what it seems to be called, Colossus Valley. They want to go to Colossus Valley to go see the hockey game. Shaman Tuck, their leader, has, you know, switched the, um, yeah, it's, he sold the tickets. He's traded the tickets. So I find that quite funny. It's just like it's the, it's this game's like trademark humor. They seem to they always seem to like avert um, what you expect. You know what I mean? Like I lost my pet snow leopard. I was busy fishing, and when I turned around, he was gone. I hope George didn't get eaten by the draglets. I really hope George didn't get eaten too. But you never, you know, George is okay. That's from spoiler alert, George is okay. So this level also, that's Shaman Tok, not Shaman Tug. You see that actually it's relating to the in the whole, um, the story with, uh, you know, Skelos Badlands, which is this level's, I and mean, this game's like titular level, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, that, that's interesting. So what we're going to do here, we've got to follow this guy. This reminds me of the Lion King quite a lot. What he actually does is he, I'm pretty sure... Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Oh, shit, shit. Oh, crap. Come on, food. He, you throw up that, he goes and eats the fish. This is kind of an interesting challenge. And also, I like to notice, like, the wall prints on there. It's like, civilization, oh my god. And just look, look at that. Like, I just, I, ne I really, whenever I came to this level, I never really noticed the stark difference in the color, how it was actually pink. I just completely forgot. I just associate this level with, you know, being all icy and not pink. It's just such a weird color for them to use, but... I do, I appreciate the fact that they did use the colour. So, there we go, get that one. And once we get it here, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he goes in the same pattern throughout the entire game. I mean, every time you do it, now he goes to this one over here. Which I'm getting to, I'm just, I just like to charge, because, yeah, fun. Go. Now. Done. There we go. Is he, he, okay, that was a glitch, he did not eat that in the right spot. Unless he magically warped or something. Okay. Let's go over to here, go over to here. I think, at this point, he actually comes back. I think there's only three little spots, and... Hey, look, a creature that you don't even see in this game. Oh, whoa, I did not even notice this. That's so cool. Holy crap, that is really awesome, just saying. You found George. I'm so glad he's safe. I'll be sure to pay more attention to him from now on. Yay. All I have with me is this round, shiny thing I caught while I was fishing. You can have it if you like. That reminded me of a Simpsons character. You can have it if you like. I don't know. But yeah, okay, so he found an orb while fishing. Very interesting. I'm, I'm glad that um, you can tell that the people here really do value um, orbs. Not They just they just find them, you know what I mean? Just randomly uh, scattered orbs. Now, finally what we can do is let's just go, let's go talk to Moneybags because Moneybags is awesome. And look, he's a different color. Hello there, Spyro. I could arrange for you to cross this bridge for <clears throat> a small fee. A small fee? It sounded like he rushed that. Thank you, Spyro. Now I can buy that condo in Horacoast that I've been <sighs> wanting for so long. Go ahead across the bridge. <laughs> oh my god. I, I know, like, all probably all the anyone that's, like, from the crass community that's watching this, like, I don't know, Owl or, um, Ratchet or Angus is probably just, like, l cringing at me because, like, I, I've said how much I, like, absolutely love the continuity in this game. I, I did, I completely forgot about how that helped the whole thing with bloody, um, Haruko. In fact, no, I don't even remember it at all. We used to give guided tours of these caves, but now they are infested with multiplying draclets. It's only a matter of time before they take over our whole village. Do you think you can get rid of them for us? I do, I think I can. Great! But remember, you have to catch them all quickly, because if any are left alive, they will continue to multiply. Thank you. This challenge here is actually pretty easy. You just pretty much have to just go like this, except I'm probably just going to do two laps, because... No, actually, no, I'm going to go for, I'm going to go one in a row. Okay. Okay, wait. Okay, that was an absolutely terrible start. All right. Let's do it again. Okay. Be qu you gotta be, yeah, no, actually, you do gotta be kind of quick. But yeah, as I said, with the continuity-wise, I just, I just appreciate that so much. Like, I did not know they had a bloody Horikos reference in this level. And like, where would you put a, a Horik? So not where would you put a Horikos? Where would you put a bloody um? What's it called? A condo? Where would the condos be in Horikos? It's an interesting question that I need the answer to. All right, 
It's actually shit. Okay. I'm being I'm gonna be slightly too slow for this, but I love this as well. Under this little section here, which is fantastic, you'll see the nice colours again. And another thing to notice around here is as well more of the paintings, which I really should have paid more attention to because they're absolutely beautiful. Just saying. Okay, whoops. Get that. I've got a feeling I'm gonna run out of time. Yeah, 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 I am. Okay. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Back, okay, so it's pretty much, they're pretty much reformed. You you gotta you gotta be quick. And you gotta be fresh as well, if I want to reference workaholics. Now, let's get that. Oh shit. I really need that to get the gems. It's just amazing. Like, look here, so you got the you know really dark colours and then all of a sudden you go for fuck's sake. Oh, I've got a bad feeling they're gonna respawn here any second, but oh, I'd have no one to blame but myself. Okay. Oh, okay, four, shit. Shit, shit. One and there's one left, there's one left. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes and yes. Hell yeah. You have saved us. You have saved Oh shit, I skipped that, but yeah, I saved it and take this token as appreciative or whatever. Okay, anyway. Done. Now what I really need to do is Oh, we actually got all the gems. Alright. We can exit the level. Congrats. Uh, like, completely unrelated to the whole plot. It's just like, yeah, let's just have fun now. Whatever. And yeah, it's interesting. That music in this level, which I didn't talk about, is really good. I really love it. But the music in the cutscene is only ever heard in the cutscene. So there's actually two versions of the Crystal Glacier music. Glacier. Glacier. Whatever. Okay, in the next part, Skelos Badlands is the land that we're going to travel to. Ha <laughs> ha. Pun intended. Not really. Alright. Goodbye.